side port incision made in manual small incision cataract surgery may appear as a small and trivial step but it has a great significance for a successful surgery here is a teaching video on a proper side port construction for learning post graduates the purpose of making a side port in manual small incision cataract surgery is to fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastics and to reform the anterior chamber and it aids in intraocular manipulation during cataract surgery and it is easier to do rexus and bimanual cortex aspiration in the formed anterior chamber through the side port a proper side port can be constructed with 15 degree angulated blade with a polycarbonate handle there are many different angles available for corneal side port incision but a 50 degree angulated blade is a proper instrument for making a correct angulation and entry into the corneal stroma the max maximum width it should pass a 20 gauge needle that is around 0.9 mm to 1 mm the proper procedure to make correct side port incision a limbal stab incision is much preferable to the clear corneal stab incision for side port construction it should be made parallel to the iris plane with a gentle counter pressure from the opposite side the optimal size should be between 1 to 1.5 mm and not beyond that the site of construction can be anywhere along 8 to 10 clock hours preferably 90 to 110 degrees distance from the superior main incision Theodore Lido et al had studied the role of side port incision in astigmatism change after small incision cataract surgery for the surgeons operating from the superior position to create an astigmatically neutral incision the authors have proposed performing side port incision at 90 to 110 degree distance from the superior main incision because cases performed with less than 90 degree distance side port had 4.18 times greater likelihood of having a change of more than 20 degree of astigmatic axis and power compared to 90 to 110 degree distance thickness of the side port is also important thickness should not be too thick or too thin it depends on how much the distance of corneal stroma is pierced if too thick decimates membrane detachment would occur or a severe striated keratopathy can happen due to the endothelial touch if too thin a incision wound leak is more common and it can invite infections in the post operative period due to poor wound healing hence the thickness of the side port can be controlled through the amount of stroma pierced for adequate self sealing wound next would be the position of the side port incision with respect to the limbus too much into the limbus into the clear cornea may again lead to a decimate membrane detachment and endothelial injury too much outside the limbus into the sclera can cause repeated iris prolapse and poor own healing so ideally the incision should be just slightly into the cornea this video shows how a proper side port is created at the limbus and how much entry of the knife is required to do the side port constructing a proper side port incision is very much necessary in small incision cataract surgery for manipulation of instruments such as viscoelastic cannulas hydrocannulas and injection of viscoelastic 
refined blues even for cutting with the varnas of the extended rexes can be done very comfortably through the side port an aspiration of the cortex even the sub incisional cortex is very much easier with a proper side port incision and insertion after insertion of the iol the dialing of the iol can be easily done with the side port what would happen if an incorrect side port incision is made it may cause persistent wound leak and aqueous leak post operatively which may invite bacterial contamination and lead to an intraocular infection and even end of thalamitis and repeated iris prolapse during surgery also may lead to post operative iris prolapse and that may also invite bacterial contamination decimates membrane detachment is so common uh, through the improper side port hydration and uh, this may require resurgery and again high risk for infections the take home message always keep the side port knife parallel to the iris plane enter the corneal stroma 0.5 mm to less than 1 mm of the corneal thickness the side port knife entry should be encouraged to restrict within the incision thickness and should not go beyond the pupillary axis don't press the globe while entering ensure proper quality of the blade it's a little things that matter in life hence a correct side port would definitely lead to an uneventful surgery from the learning phase of post graduation thank you